Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to try to fix this little pull toy. It's kind of cool as you pull it, all the legs on it move. But as you can see, it has a broken wheel on it and two broken legs. And I'm going to try to fix this and I'm social distancing myself right now. And I really don't want to go to the hardware store if I don't need to. And there's a, a dowel on here that I'm going to have to recreate. And I'm thinking I'm trying to do that in my drill press. We'll see how that goes. If you want to see how this turns out, stick around. So as you can see, this is all broken. And thankfully the glue on here had let go. So I'm able to uh, reuse this dowel. This wheel, it should be fairly easy to replicate as I found a piece of dowel here that is the same diameter and this is a poplar dowel and I'm thinking this wood here is poplar as well. I'm not entirely sure it's been stained so it's hard to, to tell but just by kind of looking at it it looks like it might be poplar and then this here is broken as well which was the uh, the legs. I'm gonna have to recreate this whole thing. Actually I might try to save this dowel here. I might try to figure a way to get it out but I'm gonna have to drill out this one and make a new one for there. Let's see how this goes. So I found a piece of wood in my stock. I believe it's poplar so I'm gonna use it to make these arms out and I'm also going to use it to make this dowel portion as well. I'm going to go to my table saw and I'm just going to rip a square block. I'm going to chuck it up into my drill press and then I'm going to try to turn it into this little dowel here. And I did some measurements already and it's a 3 8 dowel. The top is about half inch and it's kind of been rounded over. To shape it, I'm going to try to use just some, I think it's like a 40 or 50 grit sandpaper and we'll see how that goes. I don't have any turning tools and I really don't want to use my chisels on this. Okay, that actually turned out pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. It's not exactly the same, but it's close enough to get us by. So now we're gonna try to recreate making this. Well, I got these three parts made. Now it's on to make the wheel and it's three quarters of an inch thick. So I'm just going to take a slice off of here on the miter saw at three quarters of an inch and then we'll add a round over to it. Well, now we have all the parts cut out. Now we just have to drill holes and we have to drill one in the middle here and then one that's just slightly off center of it. And then we're gonna drill a hole for the pins in each one and then we'll uh, get them in place and then we'll line these up and then we'll drill a hole straight through that joint right there. So let's go to the drill press and get those drilled.
Off camera, I stained these pieces and I put a coat of polyurethane on it. And I also had to make an extra pin. I thought I only needed one more, but it turned out I needed two. So I made one of those as well off camera. We'll start by adding the wheel. We need to put one of these arms in. All that. Okay, now we just have to drill through both of these in order to insert that pin there. And we'll just use a little bit of CA glue on this. It works! Kids can play with it again. So that is it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you're new to my channel, I encourage you guys to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and like always, we'll see you in the next one.